Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. My name is Lizelle and today's video is going to be all about my brows. So you probably already figured it out, but yes, I do only have this brow filled in. This one is my natural brow. Now, if you've been watching me for a while, you probably would have heard me talk about how when I was a teen, I used to go in on my brows with the tweezers. I used to pluck my brows like crazy. I was the girl in school that had the thin, pointy brows, like super thin, troller looking brows. I used to fill my brows in with eyeliner. Yeah, I had to think about that because that's, I have repressed that memory. But yeah, I used to fill my brows in with eyeliner. If I can find some pictures, guys, we're gonna end something here because we're gonna die. Like they were, oh, I thought I was popping, but really, yeah, well, I wasn't. <laughs> so basically, I'm gonna be showing you guys today how I go from this brow to this brow. And let me just start off by saying that yes, not everybody is going to like my style of brows. I feel like eyebrows are a very personal thing. So what I personally like on myself, you guys might not like. But in saying that, I do get a lot of compliments on my eyebrows. And for me personally, I'm very much so like I'm into the whole Instagram brow. Like I like my brows to be very well defined and sculpted. So my routine is not very hard. This is pretty much what I do on an everyday basis. I don't carve my brows out or anything. I literally just fill them in like this and I'm good to go. So I'm going to be showing you guys how I do that today. If you do enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new, you know what to do. Join the crew by hitting the little red subscribe button below. And with that being said, let's get into it. Alrighty, so I've zoomed you guys in so we can see exactly what is going on. So yeah, when it comes to my brows, as you can see, this one is like like there is a brow there obviously, but there are some areas within my brow that are very sparse, especially this front end and the tail end. That is what happens guys when you over pluck your brows. Like sure you can grow them out, but they'll never be the same. So like I do regret the fact that I poked, I poked, I plucked my brows so thin as a teen, but it is what it is and you gotta work with what you got. So this is what I'm this is what I'm working with. And yeah, this is what it looks like filled in. So before I jump into things and show you exactly what I do, I just want to show you guys the things that I use. So first of all, personally, I prefer to use a brow pomade. I do use the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow pomade, but I also really love this one from Chi Chi. This is like pretty much a drugstore dupe. For those of you guys who live in Australia, this is totally easily accessible for you. However, if you're overseas, I'm pretty sure you can order it directly from their website. I've just been preferring to use this one lately because I feel like the color and the undertone of the brown suits my skin tone a lot better than the ABH ones. I feel like the dark one in that range is a little more warm and red for my liking. So I just like the color that this one gives off. Next up, I would recommend if you're using a pomade, definitely get one of these babies. This is the Sigma E75 angled brow brush. As you can see, let me just clean it off. Super, super thin, very thin, but it comes in so handy when it comes to really sculpting and defining the brow. Next up, you're definitely gonna want an eyebrow spoolie. I don't even know where this one is from, but even just like an old mascara wand, if you just wash it off, clean it off, you'll be good to go. Just something to kind of help brush through your brows. So you can kind of groom them into place. This next product is optional, but I love to use this. This is the L'Oreal Brow Artist Plumper. Basically, it is an eyebrow gel, so it will set your brows into place. But I personally love this one because it does give my brows that extra added like oomph to them. Like it is a volumizing brow plumper, so it really makes the eyebrows look nice and plump and just, you know, everything that I need because obviously, yeah, this is what we're working with. <laughs> and then last of all, I would recommend some baby wipes, just whatever you have, just a wet baby wipe, and I will show you why I use this in just a second. So let's let's jump into it now so first of all i just kind of like fold up the baby wipe make sure it's nice and flat usually this would be sitting on my desk but for the purpose of this video i'm going to hold it up here and what i like to do to start off with is clean off my brow brush obviously um, i did fill in my other brow so there is a little bit of excess product on here but it's just nice to kind of clean off the brush plus it really does help to kind of keep that nice fine shape that you want the brush to have since this cloth is damp it kind of like molds the bristles of the brush into place. So that's exactly what I do first. And then what I do is I go into my pomade and I basically scrape 
So as you can see, I'm just like going to town, coating the brush. And then once my brush has a decent amount of brow pomade covering the bristles, what I do, you guys are gonna think this is weird, but it really does help. So what I do is I kind of just paint the excess onto the baby wipe. And I know some of you guys might be thinking like, why are you doing that? Like you're wasting the product, but I'm gonna be using this that's on this cloth. So what I do is yes, I take the excess off. Of course, there would be some left on the brush and that's exactly what you're gonna want. When you start with filling in your brows, less is more, let me tell you guys that. So what I do is, as you can see, this area of my brow up front is very bare. My arch and the body of my brow isn't too bad, but then when it comes to the tail, it kind of disappears again. So what I like to do is I start right here and I just slowly start to create a little line underneath my brow there. I don't start at the front of my brow because even though I have wiped off the excess product, I don't want it to be too intense at the front of my brow just yet. It kind of depends like what kind of look I'm going for that day. But on an everyday basis, I kind of just like to keep it fairly faded at the front of my brow. So when I feel like I need more product on my brush, I just wipe my brush on this again. And since it is a damp cloth, it kind of helps to keep the product damp itself, which makes it easier to apply. So right now I'm just creating like the base of the brow. And then what I like to do is I will start kind of working upwards from that area where I started. So kind of just doing like tiny little strokes and working it up to the top of the brow. So as you can see, I do prefer to kind of work on the middle part of my brow, the brow that has the most hair already, because it's like the easiest to work off. There's not much work I have to do there. And then once I found that I filled in that area pretty decently, I probably will go back in later, I will start to work on the arch. So I will continue to follow along with that line and slowly bring it down through my tail. Also, since I do want my tail to be slightly darker than the front of my brow, I do tend to dip into the pomade again and grab a little extra product. But again, after I have created that baseline, I pretty much just work upwards and start to do like all these little short strokes to fill in the brow. Since I do prefer a really well-defined tail, I kind of just draw it in like that. I don't do like the little flicky things because I find it doesn't really suit my brow much since I don't have any hair there anyway. Doing little flicks like it just doesn't suit me so I just keep it pretty pretty defined as you can tell. I also find that it really helps to use the angle of the brush to your advantage so when I come to these areas I'll be using it this way and then when I get to the arch of my brow I'll be dragging it down this way. So it really does help to kind of use the brush as your guide to kind of create that arch that you like. It's at this point that I will take the spoolie and kind of brush through, see what areas I've missed. And this also does kind of help to spread the product and blend it in. So for the most part, the arch and tail and most of the body of my brow is done. So it is at this point that I will start to work on the front end of the brow. So I don't dip back into the pomade at this point. I just take whatever is left on the little cloth. And again, what I'm doing is just coating the brush with it. And then what I do is I kind of start in the middle and then slowly creep forward. I know some people prefer to do their brows like little flicks like this, but for me personally, because I do like a really like Instagram brow and like very sharp and like angular, I just do it like this. So I know you can like do little flicks like that, but for me personally, I just kind of keep it as is, I just follow along. So it really is just up to your preference and what you like. Also, when it comes to the top of the brow, I don't like to kind of sculpt it so much as I did with the bottom brow. I kind of just let it fade out because the top of my brows are pretty strong as it is. So I don't really feel the need to really carve them in per se. So when it comes to the front of my brow, pretty much this is all I do is I'm tapping very lightly, blending through. 
and this is why it really helps to kind of wipe the excess that is on the brush off because you don't want to be applying too much product to the front of your brow. So at this point I am happy with the front of the brow but what I will do is I will dip back into the pomade, wipe off the excess and then just go ahead and darken any sparse areas that I feel like need a little more colour or darkness to the area. So since I don't really have much hair in this area, I will just go back in and kind of like touch it up and just any other areas that I feel like need to be a little more darker to kind of blend in with the hair that's already there. Alrighty, so the brow is filled in, everything's all good. I've combed through it again with the spoolie just to make sure everything is, you know, all blended in there. And then what I like to do now is take the Brow Artist Plumper from L'Oreal and just comb this through my brows. I actually haven't even done the other brow yet, so let me just get it done right quick. So when it comes to setting the brows in place, what I like to do is comb this area of hair upwards and then kind of drag it through and just follow the natural direction of the rest of the hairs. And voila, those are my brows done. So that's pretty much everything there is when it comes to filling in my brows on the daily. As you guys can see, there ain't nothing natural about them. I would totally love to have the natural look type of brow, but with what I'm working with, this is the best I can do. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions or anything like that, feel free to leave me a comment down below. I love talking to you guys down there. Also, I will list everything that I said you needed in the video down in the description box below where you can also find all of the links to my social media accounts so if you guys want to catch up with me on twitter instagram or snapchat all that good stuff is down below anyways with all that being said i hope you are all having a fabulous week and i will catch you all in my next video stay glowy